Hello techies. Welcome back to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to change the name of the worksheet by using rename Excel worksheet action. All right, I will show you a small use case over here. If you see on my screen, I'm having an Excel with the name of employee selection. If you observe in this Excel, I'm having three worksheets. One is employee info, another one HR process, another one department. These are the three worksheets which I have in the employee selection. Now what I want to do, I want to change the name of this of the particular worksheet. Let's assume I want to change the worksheet name employee info to employee info copy or some other name I want to give it. In that case, how can I go ahead and change the name of the particular worksheet by using rename Excel worksheet action? All right, in this tutorial, we will work on three different scenarios. One is rename Excel worksheet by name. Second one, rename Excel worksheet by index. And finally, we'll see rename all Excel worksheets at the same time. Nothing but at a single shot, we will rename all the Excel worksheets by using rename Excel worksheet. All right, first of all, let me start with the use case, how we are going to rename the Excel worksheet by name. Let me drag and drop this rename Excel worksheet action onto the workspace. First of all, we'll see the parameters. Excel instance, this Excel instance we have created as part of the launch Excel, that the same instance we are going to use in the Excel instance. Another one, rename worksheet with. Over here we have two options. One is based on the name, based on the index. As a first use case that we'll use name. Now we have to provide the worksheet name. What is the worksheet name that you want to rename? Now we are having employee info. That employee info, what I have to rename it as a employee info hyphen copy. That is my new name that we are going to give it. Over here, what I'm going to give, I'm going to give employee info hyphen copy. All right. Now what it will do by using this rename worksheet with name, whatever the name we have found with the employee info, it will be renamed with the new name that is employee info hyphen copy. All right, let's click on save. Now, as part of the launch Excel, if you observe, I am using employee selection dot XLSX file, which is there in the desktop. All right. Now let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started and you can see it has been renamed successfully. Now, if you open the Excel once again, what happened? If you see previously, we had the worksheet with the name of employee info. But right now we have changed it to employee info hyphen copy. If you observe, we have renamed the specific worksheet by using rename Excel worksheet action. All right. Now I will show you another use case. What is that one? I want to rename the Excel worksheet by index. So let me go back to my Excel over here. If you observe, I'm having names, right? Names for the worksheet that is employee info hyphen copy, HR process and the department. But how can we go ahead and do with the indexing? Over here, if you observe employee info, what are the first sheet worksheet will start with one and next one with two and third one with three. These are indexing starts with one, two, three and so on. All right. Now let's assume I want to change the HR process over here, HR process worksheet as HR process original. In that case, what I will do, let's double click on the rename Excel worksheet action. Over here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to rename worksheet with index. I'm going to select the index over here. What is the index of the HR process? That is two. All right. Now that HR process, I'm going to make it as HR process original. All right. Now, based on the index, I'm going to change the name of the worksheet. All right. Let's click on save. Now let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started and flow also has been executed successfully. Now let's open the Excel to see the output. Over here, 
previously we had hr process right now you can see hr process original has been renamed based on the index by using rename excel worksheet action all right now i will show you another use case that i want to rename all the excel worksheets at the same time how can i go ahead and do that there we have to use another action over here that is get all excel worksheets by using this action we have seen in the previous video that we can get all the excel worksheet names into the list by using get all excel worksheet action let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace now if you see the excel instance that launch excel instance which you have been created that one we are going to use as part of the excel instance all right let's click on save now by using for each loop action that what i'm going to do what are the list of the worksheet names that we have in the sheet names i'm going to read one by one and then i'm going to rename them all right let me drag and drop this for each loop action onto the workspace and then value to iterate what is the value to iterate that we are having sheet names let me select that now the what are the current item that we have current sheet name that we have i'm going to store in the variable that is current sheet let me rename that and then click on save now what i'm going to do uh, whenever i'm going to looping through the sheet names i'm going to rename it one by one let me drag and drop this rename excel worksheet action inside the for each loop and then let me double click on that now if you see i'm going to select rename worksheet with i'm going to select with the name all right now what is the worksheet name i have stored the current sheet name in the flow variable that is current sheet let me select that current sheet now i'm going to add some value to this what are the value that i have with the worksheet name i will rename with the new name that is with i will just add hyphen number i will give it hyphen 1 i will give it over here and then i am going to click on save now what will happen if you see over here i am having employee info hyphen copy hr process original right so it will be renamed as copy hyphen 1 original hyphen 1 all right let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started and you can see it is going through for each loop and after that it has been renamed each and every worksheet which are available as part of the excel now let me show you the excel to see the output over here if you see i am having employee info hyphen copy hyphen 1 at the same time we have renamed all the excel worksheets right that's the reason we can see hyphen 1 at the end of each and every worksheet i hope you understand how to work with rename excel worksheet action as part of this tutorial thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day